Hello and welcome to another video of Archons Only where we try to beat Genshin Impact using only Archon characters. So this video is going to be full of different things that we're trying to do. Some of the things are planning ahead in the future, some of the things are trying new things, and the other ones are um, trying to complete some events to try to get as many premiums as we can before the release of any of the future Archon characters. So first, trying to think in advance, I think this is the first time I have to fight Ashtaha. I'm doing this because, um, as you saw before, we're able to level 10, 10, 10 all the talents from Raiden Shogun, meaning that we don't need to defeat her daily boss, the Signora, anymore. So this actually frees up one of the, um, one of the different um, weekly bosses. At least the ones with um, a fifty percent discount in the um, in the resin that we need to use. So this is the first time I'm actually trying to defeat Ashtaha. Um, I know that I think they recommend to use shields, or or at least as what something I use all the time. Oh my god, Venti death. It's not like we need it that bad, but um, what we try to do and i think the worst part is to try to stay alive especially if they hit you with the different abilities um it reduces you a lot of um your life and you can see here we can keep up with Furina healing but at the same time we are <laughs> i think we are getting damage the same amount that we are getting healed so in the end it's a lot of damage but um now on uh, in this part this is the worst part i think because you need to survive you cannot do the problem with this uh, enemy is that although we can do a lot of damage, we cannot do more than certain damage until they trigger the next cutscene. So that means that we need to <laughs> defeat him around three different times between the, they change the elements. You can see it in here, like we can do way more damage, but it's not going to die. And the same thing happens in, in the first transition where the life doesn't go lower than um, a certain amount until it triggers the, the cutscene and then you cannot do any damage to it. So we're able to do it, we're able to achieve it, and I hope we get um, the ones that Shang Li needs. This is basically us trying to prepare for <laughs> getting Shang Li. Um, I don't know what else we can farm for him. I know that we need to farm for um, the ores, and I'm not going to do that until we get him. And probably need to try to think on the enemies that we need to defeat. So unfortunately, we cannot level up the weapon from um, this bow that I want to give it to Benti, but at least um, something is really interesting is there was a change on in the Imaginarium Theater, so that actually means that we can um, now choose Furina as one of the first Archon characters that we can use in the first round, and then we can use other characters. But again, we choose the wrong character to level up, <laughs> um, because now we cannot use Electro, so that means that we need to level up an extra character from Hydro. Um, cryo or animal. So I decided to do uh, the one that it's closer to get leveled up and it's, um, it's Kaya basically because the enemy is easy to get, the flowers are easy to get and we can actually level him up pretty uh, easily. We have a lot of coins from the, the different um, enemies and uh, I think this is the, the easiest one and you can see here we were able to do it. It took some time to do it, it's not the same day but at least we can try it again and see if now for the first time, <laughs> we can actually try to do this. And it ended up being harder than I thought, because um, our Archons are not built as main DPSs, uh, especially, for example, Nahida is not built as a main DPS, so the damage that she can output without any reaction is kind of like problematic. But at least we can give it a try and see if we can defeat um, the three stages, because we don't have enough characters for the rest of them. Maybe in the future we can do harder ones, but at least in the first three um, we are guaranteed to get some of the, the coins that we need to, to buy other things. So now we can choose for the first time <laughs> an Archon. Unfortunately, you cannot choose one character. They ask you to get four characters, so they're going to be in my party, but I'm not going to use them. So the only one I'm going to use is Furina. And lucky for us, Furina is always our leveled. So um, basically she can do a lot of damage. Um, and I assume the enemies are going to be easy to defeat, especially that they are Pyro. So um, we have an advantage of the element, we have an advantage of the character, and for example, if this has to be done with Nahida, this will take like a long time. 
The other thing I'm noticing is that there is a timer going up. Um, I don't know what that means. If that means that we don't get enough um, points, if we don't fill it in certain times. But um, we will see what's the, the difference on that. So this is the last enemy. So the first round is doable. And now we should get a new Archon. Let's see. Yes. So we got Nahida, meaning like we can continue this. Um, we can try to use only one or two Archons in here. Um, ideally, I would like to use... Nahida maybe? Um, ideally, it would be better if we got Venti, because Venti is a main DPS and he can group enemies, so then that would be better to do damage than <laughs> um, Nahida. Nahida needs reaction. So then, having Nahida and Furina, we can get Bloom cores are not going to be the best ones. Um, and you can see here, there are a lot of small enemies, so that would be perfect for um, Venti. Unfortunately, I don't know if it's Depends on the order that you put them, or it's random, or how it works. If you know about that, please let me know so we can reorganize and make the best outcome for the next rounds. But if it's random, I, will, I was unlucky, <laughs> basically. So now we can use two Archons, could be um, Furina and Nahida. The only problem with that is that um, we are going to use both of our uh, Furina, so that means that we don't have Furina for the next stage. And the next stage is the final boss, so um, we need to see if we can actually um, do it or not do it with um, both Benti, I assume, or uh, Nahida, um, or only Nahida. So we will see how this goes. Um, there are small enemies in here, that's a good thing. And you can see that Furina is making so much damage and Nahida is not doing much. <laughs> but at least um, okay two more enemies at least she can apply some dendro we can get more EM meaning that we can do more damage and and try to see how fast we can defeat them um, now the timer I think was going down or maybe up I don't know I need to pay attention to that to see if there is a, a time limit that we should do yeah we got Venti so that means that now for the last round we have Venti and Nahida I hope the damage is enough to defeat the, the final enemy. I think it's a seahorse. Um, I give Nahida a DPS weapon just because I was afraid of um, her not making much damage. Um, that's a good thing that you can change your characters in between rounds. So maybe that's something that we can think and we can prepare different artifacts or different sets for them to, to play a different role. So that's another thing that we should have in mind um, on how we can prepare for uh, the different enemies and how to try to <laughs> um, defeat them easily. So I wonder if we get two more Archons, if we're, if we're going to be able to do the, the second part, um, or at least the, the one with the six enemies. That would be interesting to try, or uh, the six rounds, basically. Um, I might have not chosen the right one there. I don't know why I do it. I thought it was going to be easier, but not. Um, so basically, I spent everything I have from before, and we are now in zero, so um, let's hope to see if this is going to be helpful at some point or not. This is the final enemy. And again, we don't have more Furina, so we need to use Nahida and, and Bendy. So let's cross our fingers. Uh, this is enough to do damage. Um, I know that also this enemy hits hard. And when it's um, it has like a shield that uh, we need to protect from or try to avoid to... to him getting the, the or it getting the shield and um, so we can do really really damage so now the timer is going down so it means that we're doing in a million and a half we still have um maybe two thirds of the health and um, the other all the problems that we don't have nahida here sorry we don't have Furina. it's like we cannot heal so we should <laughs> learn how to dodge learn how the the attacks are going and see if that's going to help us a little bit more to to make a lot of damage Okay, that ultimate was successful, that's a good thing, because um, this enemy moves a lot, so we were kind of lucky. Um, now it's less than half health, we have only one minute left. Um, let's see um, if we can do much. It's a good thing that we can use Nahida's um, charge attacks, basically, to... Oh, he moves from this ultimate. That was unfortunate. 
I think this is the the shield or the final attack. This is so dangerous. So I hope we can deal it with Nahida. Mm. Oh, we almost died. Oh, we died. Okay, come on. We we weakened him. Venti, this is your time to choose to shine as a main DPS, please. It's almost gone. I wish I have an ultimate in here. It's almost gone. Come on. 11 seconds. Stands. Yeah, yeah, we're able to do it. Awesome. So we're able to complete at least one <laughs> challenge of this um, of these new end 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 story or end content, end point content or end end game content. And um, we're only able to do three acts. That's kind of like depressing. We're able to get some Prima gems. And the most interesting thing is that I wanted to get Raiden Shogun pose that was added in here. So basically, that's my main goal. I don't know if I'm going to use this pose at any point. Maybe when you are taking pictures of her, I need to pay attention when to use this pose. But it's something that I would love to see because it's so great. It's taking the sword. Um, and you never see this pose. So that's something that we can actually try to do um, in the future. Maybe for a thumbnail could be a good idea. So then we have a new event going on. It's kind of a silly event because you need to take pictures. So basically it's free primogems. Um, and they ask you to use a certain type of characters or say them like if they are from Mondstadt, Liue, Fontaine, or if they are like a Geo, Cryo, Anemo, Dendro, etc. And also they change with them elements that they use, the, the weapons that they use. So unfortunately, some of the combinations were not available. I was surprised because I thought at least one of them are going to be available. So as you can see here, we're able to get these two first ones, but then um, some of them in the in the next ones are not able to do. So unfortunately, I don't want to use any other characters not an Archon to these ones. There are not that many primogens, so it's not a big loss. And um, so then I could actually potentially avoid them and, and, and try to continue playing as much as I can. Here, for example, you need a Claymore, I need a Pyro. So basically they're asking us to get uh, Mabuika and we don't get Mabuika yet. So unfortunately I was not able to do this. Um, so let's see this one. I hope this is a Fontaine character. So it's Cryo. See, it's a Fontaine or a Cryo. Okay, we got a, a Fontaine character, so that's doable. Um, if they're asking for Risley basically here, but um, having Furina was enough. I hope they also Geo for in this one. Geo and Polarm. Basically, they're asking for Shongli. We don't have Shongli yet. I hope he will run soon. Come on, we need you. <laughs> and actually, I need him to do the custom. So maybe this photo is um, try. It. It's kind of like a reminder of what we need to do <laughs> after we get him. There's so many things we need to do in Liu, so many chests to get, so many domains to do, um, and so many other things, basically. Oh, it's a polearm. Okay, we can use it. I thought it was like Geo and polearm. No, it's, it's an or. Yeah. Here, Electro. Yes, perfect. So we can use this one with a charge attack or a sword. One of those. Beautiful. This one in Liue. I hope they don't ask for a character in Liue. Cryo and Liue, we don't have both of them, unfortunately, so this one cannot be done. Um, yeah. We, if we have Sean Lee, we can use him here, but we don't have him. And there is no Cryo Archon yet. <laughs> so we haven't reached the, the Cryo Nation, unfortunately. So sadly, um, these are another promotions that I'm not going to get. And this one in Fontaine. Dendro and must be a bow character. So we have a Dendro. Um, we can use Venti as a bow character, but we don't really need it. And they asked for a specific time on the day, so it should be night. Let's see how the, the photo looks like. Oh, oh, what's that? It looks like a shooting star. It's a pretty picture. And I think this is the last one. I think the location is really, really pretty. 
Yeah, it's really, really pretty. I hope they let us use Raiden Shogun. Maybe an Electro Polarm or Electro Inazuma. Electro Inazuma, basically they're asking for <laughs> Raiden Shogun or Kujozara. They are asking also for a, a specific time frame. So let's see. What other Electros from Inazuma there are? Cookie. Cookie Shinobu is another one. Let's see. Wow, this is really pretty. I might use it as a thumbnail. Maybe I should save it. Okay, maybe the angle was not really good. Let's see if we can take a better one. Maybe not. <laughs> We should try to take it one um, using our typical camera, I don't know. But yeah, I think this was everything for this challenge with the pictures. So we can move on. Oh no, we have a next one. So this one is the last one. Can we do it? A Nemo, yes, or a Catalyst. So this is the last one, I assume. Oh, that's the direction that we should see. Oh my God, <laughs> now he is too short to be on the photo. So our next Archon to have talents level to 10, 10, 10 is Penti, which should be the first one because it was the first Archon that we got. So that means that we only need Nahida and Furina to get their 10, 10, 10 levels um, up. So that means that we need to get books for them and the daily bosses. So that's what I'm going to work in the future. And we probably need to get more crowns. Um, I'm trying to upgrade also this bow for Penti and it's taking like longer because I use everything on Furina's web, so unfortunately I was not able to, to, to get what I need, but uh, we still have time. And lastly, um, as I showed you before, uh, we are starting to do this event where we need to go to this weird um, world made of toys. And they have a challenge or a, a, fi a fighting event, so that's something really interesting. I actually don't understand how it works because you can use the same characters twice, which I was surprised about that. Um, I don't know if they get, they get like weaker or what happens with them, but um, I was able to get good scores in all of them. So I don't know if it's a mistake that you can use them um, um, together or not, or like repeat the, the characters on the both sides, but um, I, this doesn't seem to affect us. Maybe because our characters are kind of like properly leveled up. Um, and they can do a lot of damage, maybe, that's why I didn't notice it, but I assume there is something that it's needed, because they, they have different um, lightings on the characters, and I actually thought that because there is one lighting per character, I thought that was related to having only one, um, one use per um, side, so that was my, my whole thinking, maybe it's not real, maybe you don't actually need it, so... We will see. Um, it seems like we're doing a lot of damage in in, in really long time. The en enemies are dying. Um, they are kind of like high level, so they could be worse, I think. Oh no, they're level 40. <laughs> I thought they were level 80. Uh, so then maybe that's why they're dying so fast. <laughs> Um, but I think like the only one that gives you primal chains, I think, is the the bronze medal. So then it doesn't matter if we don't get the the, the silver or the gold. Oh, we got an achievement. Um, so yeah, that's mainly it. I hope we get more information about the different um, the different archons we're running soon. Um, this should be out at some point. We know that Raiden Shogun is coming, so uh, I'm probably not going to pull anything for her because I don't think that's going to benefit us more than getting other things. For example, I'm really, I'm really considering Nahida's weapon. Um, if not, I'm going to save everything for Zhongli. Zhongli, I'm only interested in getting the characters. I don't think the constellations will be useful. Uh, he would only be a shielder, maybe a nuke with his ultimate and nothing else. Um, I don't know what Mavika can work with or what he can, she can do. Um, we will see when her kit gets revealed and see how we can build her. I hope she's a main DPS. I need a main DPS in, in, in the first side of the Abyss. 
So if, she, if we get both the Archons, we're going to be six, six characters and that would be amazing. It means that I'm probably going to run <laughs> the Mawika, Chongli, and Benti on the first side and it's going to be everything boosting Mawika basically. I, I hope she doesn't need to get other elements or reactions to work. Um, and on the other side it's going to be of course a Hyper Bloom with Nahida, um, Furina, uh, sorry, Yes, Nahida, Forina, and Raiden Shogun, which is going to be super overpowered. <laughs> so basically that will be my, my teams uh, until we get to a new nation or we get a new Archon. I hope they release soon, I really need them. Um, it would be fun to see how, instead of like them going back to back, it would be nice to have at least one of them first, we can try it out, we can do things with one character, we can test the, the um, Spiral Abyss with one of them and see what did, it, what did improve. Especially we need more sustain on the second side for um, Nahida and Raiden Shogun. So if we get, for example, Shongli first, that would be amazing. And and then we get uh, Mawika, for example, and then we can do other things with the new Archon. So I feel that would be ideal to have some space between both of them. If not, if not the content is going to be like so overwhelming and we'll try to build two characters at the same time. It's going to be a mess. Of course, we're not going to be able to level up talents and a lot of things for Mawika because we cannot pre-farm for her because probably it's going to involve a new region, a new enemy, a new boss and a lot of things. Um, but for Shongli, we should be thinking. So when Shongli is released, I might going to start um, doing some runs to get his books and to get the enemy bosses and this kind of thing. So we will see what we need, but um, I think that's going to be great. So we're almost done, this is perfect. Okay, we have the silver. I think this is going to be the end of the video because it's getting so long. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share if you really like it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.